actually expired. So whenever my boyfriend gets off work, I'm gonna ask if he go to the store and grab some heavy whipping cream because I am not going back out there. We're gonna just set that to the side for now and I'm gonna go ahead and wash off the tenders. I wanna go ahead and prep them so that they can go ahead and marinate before I cook them. I have to wait until the water is hot before I wash my hands. I don't like washing my hands with cold water. I don't like it super hot though. I don't need my um, skin boiling. Y'all, normally I would shred some cheese up. I'm being lazy today, so we're not shredding any cheese today. I should have though. I want to show y'all my um, cheese grater. I don't think it's something new though, because I don't see plenty of people with it. Hopefully next video I'll have some cheese to shred. So that I can show y'all my little cheese grater. It's so fancy. I like to place napkins onto the cutting board so that my chicken can dry. All right, now it's time to wash this chicken, y'all. We're gonna have our chicken dry. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands again. Am I the only one that uses like a lot of napkins whenever they're cooking? I use a whole lot of napkins. That's why we run through napkins so quick. So someone actually sent me this knife whenever I first started TikTok and I cannot remember who it was. But this knife is magnificent. Like it just cuts so well. They offered to send me more, but I didn't want to keep promoting knives on my page. So, yeah. I respectfully declined. Really looking good. I just got done eating hot Cheetos. I got egg. Pour in some milk. And then we're gonna go ahead and season. Cajun, Cajun seasoning. All right, that's enough of that. Onion powder. If you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. Paprika. Mm. All right, and then I'm gonna do some pepper. Me and my boyfriend, we love pepper. We go crazy on the pepper. And we're gonna throw some flour in there. And I'm not sticking my hand in this bowl, y'all. Now you just mix it all up. Ooh, y'all should add some pickle juice. So once it starts looking like this, we're gonna go ahead and cover it up because it needs to marinate. And I always struggle with putting this lid on this bowl. So let's see if I'm gonna struggle today. Like for some reason, it just won't stay down on all sides. All right, it's good now. People usually say let them marinate for about 30 minutes, but um, I'm not cooking anytime soon, so mine should be marinated for about two hours because I'm not gonna cook until I get back from the gym. Yeah. All right, so while that is in there marinating, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and 
start editing. So I will see you guys when I get back from the gym. All right, y'all, I'm back. So I decided to skip the gym today. And normally when I skip the gym, I just make sure I go extra hard the next day. So it'll be okay, because we're gonna go extra mile tomorrow. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna put this pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all the pots and pans that I need so I won't be going back and forth into the cabinet digging for them. We need a pot full of noodles. We need a pot full of sauce. I'm gonna use this pan to fry the chicken in. And I'm gonna use this pan for the, the honey garlic sauce. We're gonna put our water in the pot for the noodles. All right, and you wanna set your pasta water on high and make sure that you are salting your water. Now, while we're waiting for this water to boil, I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my vegetable oil because I want that to get hot. Ooh, I probably put way too much flour. I really be ODing on the flour. Add in your cornstarch, that should be enough. Please, please, please season your flour. Don't leave it. Your flour should not be white. It should not be white. And you pretty much just season your flour with the exact same season that you seasoned your chicken with. The Cajun, the garlic powder, onion powder, and I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon pepper in this. Some paprika for color. tell y'all to make sure your pasta water is on high and I set the pasta water to low. I'm tripping. I don't know why I mix my flour up with a fork. I just do. You can really mix it with whatever you want to. So now that the pasta water is at a boil, we go ahead and pour in the go ahead and pour in the pasta. And you just you just cook them according to the package. So my package says to cook it for 10 to 12 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to set the timer. If I heard if you put a wooden spoon over the top of your pot, it won't boil over. We're gonna see if that helps. But let's go ahead and get started on the sauce. So I got a stick of butter. I'm gonna cut that in half. Adding half a stick of butter. Ooh, it's still some paper on there. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our garlic paste as well. Just a little bit. I'm about to pour in some heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna let that heat up before I put my cheese in. Oh, that is so hot. I'm gonna go ahead and move my sauce up to the front so I don't have to keep reaching back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring the cheese in. This is the Parmesan cheese. Just put as much as you like. All right, now whisk that until it melts down. You gotta be real patient with this because it takes a little minute for it to melt down. And I also like, I like mozzarella cheese in my pasta, so I'm gonna add that as well. Y'all, look at that cheese bowl. I ran out of Cajun seasoning, so I'm gonna use Cajun choice. And this is what your Alfredo sauce should look like. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up with the noodles. Ooh, look at that. Y'all hear that? Mm -mm -mm. This is exactly what it should sound like. We're going to coat all of our tenders and put them directly into the grease. Oh, 
Ooh, y'all, look at them tenders. They're so crispy. Look how crisp these tenders are. So with the sauce, I did add a little bit more butter and honey because I want, I just want a little extra sauce to sprinkle on top of the pasta for a little razzle dazzle. Just put it all on there. And then we're gonna sprinkle some lemon and pepper. Ooh wee. Y'all. If you hear smack in the background, it's not me, y'all. Once the candle is lit, there's nothing in the sink. That means the kitchen is closed. Okay, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's video. And y'all, let me know if y'all make that pasta or not. I promise, I'm, I'm not lying to y'all. That pasta is a 10 out of 10. And I quote, 10 out of 10. So if y'all make it, let me know. Thank y'all for watching. I will see you next video. When you were just focused on.